Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and this is Pocket News for Tuesday, the 7th of July. Come in. First up, and Yanis Varoufakis is getting the hell out of Greece due to the country's financial crisis. The former Valve economic advisor has announced he will be stepping down as Greece's finance minister after assuming the position just six months ago. At the time of his employment, he said he had plans to enact genuine reforms to help save the country from its imminent collapse, but to no avail. Sadly, selling digital hats will just not work in a cash economy. Next up, and it looks like Burnout Paradise may be in the first wave of backwards compatible titles on the Xbox One. The game's developer Criterion tweeted to confirm they are in talks with Microsoft, working to ensure that Paradise is one of the initial 100 titles that will be available by the end of the year. Don't do it, Microsoft. I already 100%ed that game. Don't make me do it again. And finally, let's talk about Felix PewDiePie Kielberg. According to Swedish newspaper Expressen, old pewds earned just shy of 10 million Australian dollars in 2014. Now, if only there were 131,000 PewDiePies in the world, they could all just pull last year's earnings and bail out Greece. Though I don't think the world could handle 131,000 times this. Yeah? No? And that's it for the news today, Pocketeers. Tonight on Good Game, there's a game extravaganza as Bajo and Hex review Fallout Shelter, Her Story, Splatoon, and Lego Jurassic World. That's at 8.30 p.m. on ABC2. But in more important news about me, this afternoon on Pocket Prime, I joined the corporate production line in Infinity Factory. Until then, Nick Boy out.